Hi and welcome back to day three of our playthrough of um, Empyrean. So if we look at the top right there under the words partly cloudy and crash site, we've got 604, which means, and we've got the arrow pointing up, which means we've actually not arrived at day three yet. Now what I did during the night, uh, or rather at the beginning of the night, was I ran around just killing a lot of things because we left at the end of the last episode at level five and I needed to get to level seven. And the reason I needed to get there was that if we hit F2 again, and this seems to load up slowly every now and then. Okay, so small vessels. So what we were targeting was this Polaris Scout. We had to be level seven. So what we can do now is we have all the goods, because if we go to factory, it tells us what we have there and we've put everything in. So what we did is we got every, we got all the carbon substrate we needed, we got the copper ingots, silicons, and we put everything into this box here. And it now registers that we have everything that we need here so that we can go ahead and make it. So we go back to library. So you see that we've put in a lot more than um, we needed, but we don't lose that. It stays in the factory until um, we can't take it out, but it will stay there until we need it. And uh, we, will, we will be making much bigger things later on, so this will get used. So what we can do now is go back to library and um, back to factory again, just go start production. Sorry, it's here. All right, now that is going to take 19 minutes to complete. So what I could do now, because it's um, five hours to sunrise, I could just go F here. Now, if I slept for eight hours, I would wake up the next morning and it would be complete. Now, I'm not going to do that because I just want to, because I think I need to put more. I think this would exhaust over an eight hour period. And when we come to having to um, start building up the base. We're going to have to put some fuel into the base and once we spawn this uh, vehicle that we're just making, we're also going to need some fuel for that. So what I'm going to do is just run around and uh, cut down a bunch of trees and um, just refill this with wood just to make sure that we've got our biofuel continuing to come. If I slept, I think uh, that would run out of wood. Now, the other thing is, um, in the last episode, I thought H was helmet. In fact, it's U. So if you look in the bottom left there, we can take our helmet off, put it on again if we press U. Uh, there's no reason to really take it off at this stage. Uh, but we've also got this um, control L, which gives us a light. So it means that, for example, this thing down here, we don't need that anymore, so we just dump it. So we've got a chest here, so let's do that. Just free up a slot. Okay, so just going back to F2, it will continue to tell us how long um, it's going to take until this is ready. So I'm going to run around and pick up a bunch of wood, but there's also something else I want to do. And that is start to get some O2 and um, this thing here will make oxygen and it will make uh, small bottles of water. And it's something that I want to do, so just equip our... Now I need, some, I need two iron to make this. So Drops here. It tends to happen uh, when I load the game up and then kind of settles down a bit later on. Don't know why. Alright, so we go tab, go back to here, and we can make our water O2 condenser now. So I'm going to place that down, and uh, because when, if we just go to tab again and we just look here. Once we have this vehicle made, we're going to be able to go up into space. Uh, we have a helmet on, but um, you see this oxygen down here. As soon as we get into a non-breathable atmosphere or non-breathable place, we are going to need oxygen. So it's a good idea to get that going now. So that's why I'm going to be building this. All right, so that's just completed. So we're going to put, just plonk it in our seven and just put it down somewhere. There's a good place as any. So if we go F to access it, we can see that we need um, we need to put some fuel in this for this to work. So let's go to our fuel supplies. And you can just go Control and uh, left mouse click and it just fills it up. So that'll start cranking away. And as you can see, every um, 70 odd seconds, it's just going to kick out something. In this case, a small O2 bottle, and then it'll flip to a small bottle of water, then back to O2, back to water, etc. And that'll just keep going. And if we keep this full, then by the time we need oxygen and by the time we need water, we'll have plenty. 
so that's good to go now to get from level 5 to level 7 last night all I did is just um, run around and kill a lot of things and I went over to Talon territory to do that now if we just go tab and look in factions so I did discover the Talon last night, just ran into a pack of them. And as mentioned, we're neutral, so nothing happens there. You just say hello and just move on. And reputation points start at 16,500. And because I was killing enemies in their territory, that quickly went up. So you could see how quickly you can gain reputation points just by killing enemies. Now, once I hit 18,000, this reputation will actually change to friendly. And you can read all the text there on the, in the box on the right-hand side about... Um, what you can do when you're neutral, what you can do when you're friendly. So all I'd have to do now is go over there, kill a few more things, and we would be at a friendly um, reputation status. So that means, among other things, that when you trade with them, um, you will get better prices. And they do have traders in the camp nearby, so that's something to bear in mind. So before we did go over there and start trading anything, you can't trade that much with them, but um, if you look at certain things which we're gonna want to build shortly, just go to uh, tab and uh, let's just go to just a map no sorry it's this one here which tells us uh, it's it's basically M for map and it tells us what's on our planet now we've got iron copper silicon promethium promethium um, you can start to make um, certain things for you can start uh, certain fuel items with promethium and we'll do that later but we don't have um, anything other than iron, copper, silicon. And there is, I think, one gold, which we don't particularly need at this stage. Promethium, iron, silicon. But we're going to need cobalt to start moving on with certain things. So um, what you can do is you can go to the Talon Trader and you can actually buy cobalt there. So that is one option because we're going to get to a stage very very soon where we're going to want to need some ores other than iron silicon and copper but we're not there yet all right so what i'm going to do is just run around uh, get a bunch of wood so that i can fill up this guy here and i'll be back once our small vessel is completed okay so we just ran around getting a load of wood and if we just look at um our biofuel production now there's enough wood to keep going for days there so you forget about that as far as the oxygen and water we don't need this immediately uh, although we are going to need 10 bottles of water relatively soon uh, but we'll see why in a mo moment so um yeah we've got five of each at the moment so um just leave that going that'll be fine so if we just look at f2 see how far we are we're only one minute away from um, having this complete so we'll deal with that in a second now meantime um once we have the scout uh, spawned in, and just a note there, but um, if you look at all, if you just go to library, now I picked the uh, Polaris scout, you've got a lot more. These are all of the um, vanilla choices of SV. There are loads of them. Now I have not um, gone the route of making a hover vehicle. Um, I could have done at level three and started mining that way, but I tend to find they get stuck a little bit and I don't really like them that much. So I tend, I tend not to use them, but of course there's another option there. Um, so it, it's very much personal preference. There are just so many ways that you can uh, proceed here. And all I'm doing is just uh, picking one particular path, one I've used before and kind of liked because it got us going in a relatively strong way. So I'm just doing that again. And base again, I'm going for this blue moon base here. I just want to check, just go to factory, see if I've got it. Um, blue moon base, blue moon base, factory. Oh yeah, I've got to wait until this finishes. In fact, it's going to finish any second now. So we'll be able to spawn this in just in three seconds time. And then we'll go on to the look at the base. But the point I was making is that there are so many ways to uh, play this game. And this is just one path. All right, so now what we can do, go into F2, and um, we just, you, you will find the, whatever you've made in the completed thing up here, so you just click on it, and you have the spawn option, and then you just press spawn. And you have to find somewhere green, of course, where it will allow you, and right there, done. So we've now created this new small vessel. So if you just walk up to it, um, 
So we've got some guns on it and all sorts, but uh, if you just position yourself correctly, you can go F to pilot the small vessel. So let's just go in. Now, as soon as you're in there, um, you've got this new uh, control P. Now, if you press P, it opens up um, all of this here, which is, um, there's your main, um, so you can manage your oxygen in the um, vehicle. You can manage your fuel in the vehicle. As you can see, we've got nothing. Now, pentaxid, that's something, we don't have a pentaxid tank on the vehicle at the moment, but we're going to add one later. Uh, but at the moment, um, we don't have the ability. You need pentaxid to warp up in space. No, we don't have that facility right now. So the only one, and because we're in a breathable atmosphere right now, we don't need to bother with this one either. The only one we need to really bother with is fuel. So you turn your power on here and here. Now, we don't have any fuel, so this doesn't make any difference right now. But if we could just go manage here, we do have some fuel in inventory, not much, but uh, enough to just get going. That's only 47%. But now we can go back uh, P. And now if we power up, we've actually got some power in the vehicle and we can start taking off. So control takes you up, C takes you down. Now, another thing here, if you look over here, you've got the save template. Now, what this does, a little bit later in the game, we will be able to make um, some repair templates that we can place on bases and on captive vehicles and other bases. So some, basically somewhere we can park the vehicle and just hit repair, and it will go back to the template whenever you last saved it. So if we save the template now, for example, then when we make a repair station later on, once we go to it, we'll it will repair back to the state that it's currently in. So you always want to hit this. Or if you make any significant changes to the vehicle, then you need to save the template again. Um, so we're so just basic controls. It's uh, control for up. So you can steer with the mouse, just left, right, up, down. Now one thing uh, you do find is that you tend to get this roll, so you can see we're kind of leaning to the left and the right, and you've got these uh, Q and E keys. Now E will straighten you up that way, and Q will roll you this way. And then W, of course, takes you forward. Now if you look at the uh, top, sorry, the maximum speed there, there's a little blue line on your right-hand side. You can see it's 43 meters per second. So if we just quickly go to F3 here, into the tech tree, into small vessel, so what we're going to want to do, uh, among other things, I'd like to add a minigun turret. Because if you just look at um, number one here, I've just equipped the one key. And if I press R, then it, I don't have any bullets at the moment, which is an issue. But um, So that's one thing we're going to have to do. And that is if you press P, and you just go to ammunition here, you can see it needs 15 millimeter bullets. I cannot make those in the portable constructor. And that's another reason why we needed um, and wanted to make, just going back to F3 and going into the base. That's another reason we needed to make this because we can make 15 millimeter bullets in this small constructor. So we're gonna have to put that together shortly. So as you move around, you tend that you tend to, you find that you tend to roll a lot. There is another key and that's the O key. If you press O, it straightens you up. Um, so you can just do that at any time. And pressing O again straightens you up. All right, so where were we? Oh, there's a comp station over there. So you look at that maximum three uh, speed, 43 meters per second. Now, what I was going to say, if we just go to F3 in small vehicle, small vessel. Yeah, I got distracted by the guns here. Um, I'm going to want to put a minigun turret on. Uh, because when you have two of those, then it automatically fires at enemies. Whereas the Gatling gun, again, just going back to this screen now, the one key there just equips our Gatling gun. Once I have bullets in, um, you can left mouse key and that fires. So it just says ammo missing right now. So if I put more Gatling guns on, um, it'll just, that number four will just go up to however many guns you put on. But what I want to do is put on some automatic firing things. I'm going to unlock that. And you need to unlock this to be able to make 15 millimeter bullets anyway. So you're forced to do this. You've still got plenty of points and I'm going to want to make a couple of those. Done. All right, so let's go land this because um, we don't really need it right now. 
to the C to go down and what you want to do before you get out of the vehicle, just press P and just power down, otherwise you're burning uh, fuel up and then just F to get out and there you go. Alright, so we'll come back to that a little bit later. Now, we've made our vehicle, so the next thing that we might want to do is look at the base that we want to get down. So going F2 again, so now we can look at this blue moon base here and it tells us that we need stone dust. So one thing we also did last night was run around, uh, cut, enough, cut, cut up enough stone that we got um, and then convert, convert it to stone dust in the portable constructor. So I think, and I put a bunch of this into the factory already, but not enough. So we need some more silicon, we need copper, and we need carbon substrate, but not much. So carbon substrate, I think I need to make. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, that'll make a hundred because we might need some carbon substrate for some other things. So what else did we need? Just going F2 again. So we need silicon copper. Now these growing plot, con these concrete growing plots here, that's, that was another reason that if we go into base again, that we wanted to make this small constructor. And we are now in a position to start putting all this up. Um, and we'll do that in a second. Trouble being that as soon as we put a core down, because we have to put a core down to be able to use that constructor, as soon as we do that, then uh, it's, we're liable to get um, attacked by drones. I, I suspect you get a grace period. I've never been attacked immediately. It's always been a few days later, and by then you're ready for them anyway, but um, we'll come to that in a second. So meantime, um, just going back to F2 and the Blue Moon base, I did need silicon and copper, so let's do that. Is that enough silicon now? What did we need? Yes, it is. So I'm just going to actually just control, control right click and it just moves half of it in. And then, how does this work? If we go shift and right click, you know, uh, that's right. So shift and right mouse click picks it up. And if you hit right mouse click again, it goes one at a time. So we can put in the amount, exact amount there. Done. And then we need copper ingots. So I don't need all of this. So again, sh that was uh, shift right mouse click. So F2 again. I'm just going to put in 200 because we've got so much copper that um, that'll stay there. We don't lose it. So it's just the carbon substrate which we just made. So let's do that. F2 again, just put it all in. There we go. So we just need this uh, concrete growing plot. For that, we have to take these things out of here, which we made earlier. These are the four things that we need to put in place to be able to use this small constructor. And that is a core. Uh, we need a small generator, fuel tank, and the small constructor. So let's put those four things down. Now, firstly, the generator, if you get close to it, it um, it gives that radiation. Now we don't particularly care where we put things, so I'm just going to put it over here wherever it will allow us to put it, just far enough away that we don't get bothered by the radiation that kicks out. I mean if we get attacked by a drone there's absolutely no protection or anything, but it's not going to be there long enough that we need to worry about it, but um, yeah it doesn't give out radiation right now because we're not powered up. So fuel tank, it doesn't matter where we put it again. Again, we're not worrying about defense or anything because all of this is going to get moved. Well, if we get a drone attack, we're going to deal with it with the um, small um, small vessel anyway. So it won't. The drones shouldn't get close enough to do any damage here. But um, so we're not really worried about defense right now. Now, what else did we need? We needed a small constructor. So I'm just going to put that somewhere that I can easily access it here. Oh, what happened here? Am I in God mode? Did I accidentally hit God mode there? It just seemed to be a lot faster than before. Oh, I'm in the drone mode. That's why F5. Okay, oops. Got confused. All right, so um, if we press F here, then it currently doesn't have an input, so the constructor doesn't know where to get the goods to start making things. So we're, we only have one thing here and that's this cargo pallet. So what we're going to do is just um, press this here 
and just designate the cargo palette as its input. So it's going to take everything from here. This is just a bunch of stuff I got from killing a load of things the other night to go to go up from level five to level seven. I also got some meat, and I did not make a point of cooking it. So I can actually um, start chowing down. This is probably going to go bad before I get to use it all, but. And if we just go tab and look in our survival constructor, we've got all this, these energy bars here, which aren't going bad because as we remember, as long as we keep it in the output, then it doesn't go, the um, perish timer doesn't start counting down. But unfortunately we can't put this in the output, so. All right, so where are we? Um, we're going to start using this constructor as soon as we place the core down. So I'm gonna to wanna to take everything out of here. Let's do that. Oh, there's some more wood. So let's just um, actually there. There's enough wood in there to keep it going for days and days. So we're just going to put that in. Put everything in here just in case we need some plant fibers. Although we've got a lot, so that's we've got a lot more than pretty much. We've got a lot more of everything than I think we need. All right. So now we have everything placed down. We've got a constructor. We've got our generator, we've got our fuel. Of course, we're going to need some fuel to put in it, so let's pick some up. Um, shift and right mouse click again. Um, so control, right mouse click, just going to pick up half the stack. So anything, any fuel I put in the base or the small vessel, I can always take out later, so it's not waste. So sorry, a bit of a discontinuity there. Somebody rang the bell and the uh, dog went nuts and had to deal with him. But anyway, where were we? Um, now we just placed down our generator and we've got a fuel tank there. So all we need to do now is place down the core. So let's do that. Now it doesn't really matter where we put it. As mentioned, we're not worried about defense because by the time we are liable to get a drone attack, we'll be ready for it. And we'll deal with the drone attack with the um, small vessel anyway. So first thing that we need to do now is if we press P, we need to just point to anything in the base here, uh, point the mouse at anything in the base, press P, and it will open up the control panel for the base. And uh, just like the small vessel, we don't have any fuel, so let's put some in. So let's go control and right mouse click and just put a little bit in, that'll be enough. Now, the first thing that we wanna do, if you remember, we didn't have any bullets in our small vessel. And as we now have a core down, we are liable to get attacked by drones. So let's get some bullets made. So if we go into, um, so we want F for the constructor here, go 15 because we want 15 millimeter bullets. It's gonna be under weapons and items and there it is. So let's just get um, 20 going for now. It gives a lot more than 20, but um, just wait till that's done. Now, if we just go back to F2, remember we were working on, um, just go to the library, we were working on the Blue Moon base, but we didn't have everything because we were two things short. short. Now it's the growing plot, concrete grow, growing plot, which we needed to make in here. So while it's making the bullets, let's just have a look at the growing plot. And it's in this sugar cube thing here. Now we've got plant fibers, uh, we can make cement because that just needs stone and we've got lots of that, but we need something called nutrient solution and we can't make it in this constructor because it's a food item. So, but we can make it in the portable constructor here. So if we go to F and we go to the food items here, we can find nutrient solution there and it tells us we need stone dust, purified water and spoiled food. And that was a good reason we wanted to get this going the other day because it gave us oxygen and also water. So if we go F, we should have 10. Yes, we do. Nice. So we got it going just in time. Now we need some stone dust. So um, let me see control, right mouse click. That's way more than we need. And we needed some spoiled food. So let's just consolidate this and move it over. So now we can make our, that's the items needed for the nutrient solution and we needed two of them. So let's get that made. And then we can make our growing pots. So meantime, we should have had uh, a bunch of bullets getting made. Now what we can do here, there are two ways to access this cargo pallet here. We could just hit this box here, which gives us um, permission to exchange items backwards and forwards. The other way is if um, you just stand here and you just press F4 
then it gives you access to the damage comp section. And any if we had more than one container, you would have all of the container options down here, and you could access them. And that way we could just uh, take things or put things in, take things out as we wanted to. Now, if you are in F4, another thing we can do is you've got damage comp station here, but we can also access the scout if it's in within range, and it is nearby, so we can do that. So we can put our bullets into the small vessel now, but we need to make sure we put it into the ammo box here. So let's do that. Done. So now we are armed up and ready to go. So if we do get a drone attack now, then uh, we just have to exit. We just have to get in here, P for power, power up. Um, we've got our bullets ready, and then it's um, control bar for up, and just get the drones as they're coming in. So if we press the one key right now, it'll go to our Gatling guns, which is where we were. Press R, and it loads them up. We're not fully, we need more than 1,100 bullets. Uh, we get through a lot of bullets, but they're cheap to make. So anyway, C to go down, just power down, P, click there. Um, we're good for fuel, I think. Um, now, it says zero here because they're all um, armed in the guns right now, but uh, let's go make a bunch more anyway. Meantime, we should have our nutrient solution done, which we do. And we'll put all this back into the cargo pallet. So let's do that along with the nutrient solution. So now we can go growing plot G R O into the sugar cubes. And there you go, one, two. And now it'll make the growing plots. If we hit F2, that's just the one item that we need to make the uh, Blue Moon base. And that's where we will, uh, that will be our initial base until much further into the game. So that pretty much covers it for a beginner's guide, so to speak, because that gets us to a place where we can really start exploring into the mid game. Now, one thing we did at the very beginning of the game, if you remember, is we short circuited the tutorial. So what we can do is actually go back to there now by pressing F1. Now, so the first thing that the uh, tutorial asked us to do was find and pick up the survival tool, which we didn't do because we made one. But now what we can do is we can click through all these things. And this might take a little bit of a while, but it'll just get through everything that the uh, game would have told us to do. And then you can start to see where we did things a little bit differently. Uh, survival tool, do you want to know more? No, because uh, just because. So again, F1, a harvest plant protein, we did that. Extract fiber, we did that. Craft bandage, we did that. Use bandage, we did that. Just cancel out of here. F1 again. Open PDA, exit PDA, yes. Just click through this as quickly as we can. F1 again, craft energy bar, yes. So detector, craft a detector. Yeah, we did that straight away. Uh, I don't know why we would have delayed to do that till now. But as mentioned to start with, I wanted to do things in a slightly different order and also to do things slightly different. So this was um, find a comm station, which is here, and to access this. I, I can't remember why we needed to do that because it doesn't tell us anything special. So craft tent, place tent, yeah, we did all this. Access tech tree, did all this. Unlock portable constructor. Exit window. Gather iron ore. Craft portable constructor. Again, we did this um, way earlier than this, just because we could. So we did all this, but in our own order. Now this I didn't do, craft pistol and craft, craft pistol round. Um, as mentioned, the survival tool in weapon mode is, in my opinion, better than the pistol. So we would never have used it. 
and what we did is wait till level 5 to get the sniper rifle which I think is a much better weapon okay, let's get out of there back to F1 all right so this is the large wreckage now this is what we did go find uh, very early on day one Search for containers, loot container, and that would have given us our motorbike. It says situation, not sure what that means. Salvage steel plates, we didn't do that because we didn't need to, um, because we went, we were going mining for iron anyway, so um, we could make steel, any steel plates that we needed. But we did cut down that one wreckage just because the, um, inter the um, uh, integrity wasn't that great, so we just had to cut down those two bits and the whole thing fell down we got like 400 500 plates yeah it's a structural integrity one wasn't it okay and deploy bike uh, we didn't do that until later because we wanted to run around picking up plants for xp arrive at com station uh, yep craft core place a core well we just did that but if you did it this early then um I think the first time I did this, I just followed these instructions, placed the core, and I got hit by um, a drone attack before I was ready. And you're kind of just left trying to fight them off with a gun, which wasn't very successful. So that's why I did things in the order we did. Built the SV, got it armed up, uh, because now that the core is down, um, if we do get a drone attack, we can fight it off very, very easily with the SV. So that's why we did things in a different order there. I think if you do it, things in this order, uh, you are vulnerable to a drone attack and um, yeah. So this is where it tells us to build up the uh, base. So small generator fuel tank, the only thing we added to this um, was the small constructor. Yeah, we did all this. There's our generator and fuel tank again. Place small generator, we did that. Place fuel tank, we did that. Access, uh, craft. You see, if we started crafting biofuel, we saw how slow it is to, to make it. Um, now, we started biofuel right up, right from the get-go on day one. And um, that's why, if we now look, we've got, um, yeah, we've got 65 there. Um, our SV is half, it's about 40 odd percent full, and we've got a little bit in our base already, but we've got about 80 spare. Now, if you start making um, biofuel now, then you don't, you're going to have to wait quite a while to get enough biofuel to put into the base. So it seems to be, um, I would have thought the tutorial would tell you to get this going earlier, which is what we actually did. But So fill tank, well, you're going to have to wait for days to get enough uh, biofuel. If you start crafting biofuel at this stage, you're going to have to wait for days to fill the tank. So yeah, we got it going on day one, which is, I think it's the smart play. All right, powering console, loading operating system. Let's get out of there. So I think that's it. Um, that's as far as the tutorial takes you. So now if you go into solo missions, all you have to go is activate mission. And uh, you just go, let's go. And then what you find if you go back into F1 now is um, if you go story. So this is the first part of the story. Find one of the tribal settlements, make contact with the natives. It might be vital, etc. So this is a uh, mission will be activated by the game. So all you have to do is run around and then what's going to happen? Uh, you've got this thing. This is a task. This is an action um, in the right hand side there. It just tells you what it looks like once you do get a task and an action. But at some point, uh, if you, you've just run around now and at some point it will activate that um, task and it will tell you to go find the um, I think it's just uh, what is the first one? Tales of the past. Yeah, you have to go find a Talon settlement. And um, so that takes you right into the story mode, which goes a long, long way. And it's a, it's a pretty good story mode. Anyway, um, so I'm going to finish the series here because that is really the end of any sort of beginner guide. Because you're now in a position to place your Blue Moon base or whatever base you choose to make. And then um, if you follow the storyline, it takes you into the legacy and uh, dealing with those guys. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully that was helpful. Bye.